frenetic play taking place tonight. Kansas so far, six turnovers. Howard with ten turnovers, averaging 17.8 a contest, already nearing that with ease tonight. 38-9 to with 3.07 left to play. Collins to inbound the ball here for the Bison. Still hasn't inbound. It finally does. It'll be turned over by Kevin Young. Kevin Young for the dunk down low. No chance even for the Bison to get it in that time as Young intercepted the pass. Yeah, Daydream Collins just did not have a man. There was nobody open for him and just finally kind of tried to force one in. Kevin Young all over. Now back over down the other end, Collins. Daydream Collins this time guarded really, really well again by Kevin Young. Young doing a great job here in the latter going of this first half. It'll be tipped out of bounds. Stay with the Bison as it last touched to Jayhawk. 2.45 left to play here in this first half. 40 to 9, the score. Can't say enough about this defense. The way they've played for the Kansas Jayhawks, you see them forcing another kind of stoppage of play. Kick goes off of the foot, but still, he's been all over. There has not been an easy shot. There's not been a really more than a half second or so that someone <laughs> hasn't had a man come up to him and guard him. Inbounds play here once again. Travis Relliford doing a great job. Finally does get the ball in to Zocoro. Now to Frazier. Frazier to Andrews. Andrews now over to Collins. Collins now down low to Leary. Open look, and he's going to miss the dunk. Does Alfonso Leary. Ball will be tipped around and finally pulled back up by Elijah Johnson after it spent a little bit of time on the ground now on the other end of the court. Tyshawn Taylor is going to look for the three. No, he's going to then he's going to pass at the last minute to Thomas Robinson. Robinson will get it tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with the Jayhawks. And you see Theodore Boyomo check in. Uh, one of many freshmen. He's a redshirt freshman, but and this is a very young team. We, we talked about earlier, one of the most talented classes in terms of players that Howard University has ever seen. And this is a building process. Only the second year for the head coach, Nickelberry, and clearly we can see that here today as they're down 40-9. to nine. Elijah Johnson now with the ball at the top of the key. Gets it down low to Robinson. Robinson! Jams that one home, 42-9, to nine, with 2.13 left to play here from Allen Fieldhouse. And that got the Jayhawk faithful pumped once again here as the Jayhawks showing that their seven, number 17th, 18th ranking, depending on what ranking you look at, they need to be ranked a little bit higher as they're making a statement tonight against this Howard team. Okoro, top of the key for the Bison. Dribbling against Travis Relliford. Relliford, the leading stealer for this Jayhawk team. He'll get it up to Collins, though, and Collins will rattle home a three. Pretty stroke that time from Dadrian Collins. Yeah, 33% three-point shooter on the season is Collins. And by the way, on that shot, they finally do get into double figures. 12 points now for the Bison, 42-12. to 12. Kevin Young now over to Tyshawn Taylor. No-look pass over to the right side. Shot missed. That from Robinson. Robinson will miss that shot. Rebound back to the Bison. Here comes Thompson. Now over to Okoro. Going to take, excuse me, that was Andrews take the three. Okoro gets the rebound. Ball fought for. Finally pulled up by Kevin Young, stripping the ball. Now we're going to have another turnover, I believe, as the ball was almost thrown away. But no, the Jayhawks will retain possession as Andrew, or excuse me, Calvin Thompson touched it last. Timeout called by the Kansas Jayhawks and Bill Self. Just a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here. 112 to play, 42 to 12. The score, Alex. And this defense goes back really even to the USC game. I mean, obviously a poor performance against Davidson. They ran into a team that made shots, but you look at the USC game. I, correct me if I'm wrong. They held was it 13 points that USC scored in the first half so, yeah, in I Southern think. California. Howard with 12. We got a minute 12 to go. I look back. Howard, their lowest point total in the first half was 15, and that was against the Georgetown team that the Jayhawks beat in a Georgetown team that's going to be ranked in the top 10 now after their win over Louisville, who was previously on beat. So this defense uh, has not just started here against the Howard team, who, let's face it, is 4-9 out of the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, and three of those wins came against Division One opponents. The other one wasn't even in Division One. so this is clearly not a team on the, the level by any means of the Kansas Jacks, but I think you look at even a USC team that's in the Pac-12 Conference, even though they may be towards the bottom of that conference, the Jayhawk defense has really continued for these last couple of games. The Jayhawk defense not allowing very many shots around the rim as they're doing a great, great job here tonight as the Howard Bison just get into double figures on that last possession. Now here come the Jayhawks once again, 42-12 to the score. Tyson Taylor going to take the long three, miss. Rebound back to the Bison. Here comes Okoro streaking down the left side. He's going to be fouled, I believe, by Jeff Withy, the seven-footer out of San Diego. 
for the Jayhawks. So he'll go to the line here for a couple shots, 42 to 12. Under a minute to play now, 49 seconds. Yeah, and you just look at some of the stats here as the first half starts to wind down, David. 20 points in the paint for the Jayhawks compared to four. I mean, you knew Thomas Robinson and Jeff Withy were going to be able to kind of dominate this game. And if the Jayhawks were able to get the ball inside, they would have a successful night. 17 bench points as well for Kansas compared to eight of Howard. You know, that's one of the things this Kansas Jayhawk team has been, you know, talked about not being as deep by any means by the last few years, but still, wow, I mean, they, they still have some good depth, as you said, a lot of players getting a lot of minutes and points tonight for Kansas. First shot up and good, second shot missed, but rebounded back over to the Bison. Yeah, it's the seventh offensive board, which is surprising. I mean, they, they have 11 rebounds. They're getting out rebounded overall by the Jayhawks, but offensive boards, though, they've done a nice job. Leary, the tallest player at 6'10", so lacking size are the Bison, but indeed pulling down those offensive rebounds. 15 seconds to shoot here. Frazier with the ball, top the key. About 24 seconds left to play here in this first half. Nine seconds to shoot. Gets it down low to Boyomo. Boyomo's going to get called for the travel. The Cameroon native gets called for the travel. Turnover now with 19.9 seconds to play. Shot clock turned off here for the Jayhawks. Thomas Robinson and Tyshawn Taylor, they, they came out and kind of drew, uh, drew the pressure towards the top of the key and double team. You saw that, that kind of threw off the, the groove, if you will, of the Howard Bison offense. Now here come the Jayhawks. They'll look for the last shot here. It's Tyshawn Taylor at the point. They'll get it across the timeline, setting up the play. Gets it over to Tehan. Connor Tehan now back to Tyshawn Taylor. Eight seconds to play. Now back over to Tehan. Four, five seconds to play. Now Tehan will take the long three, miss, and that's going to be the last shot attempt.